historic state is a state in Malaysia located in the southern region of the Malaysian Peninsula, next to the Malacca Strait. The state border negeri Sembilan to the north and west and Johor to the south. With a highly strategic state place for international trade routes, Malacca was once a well-known international trade hub in the east. The harmonious life and environment of the people of Malacca is attributed to the life of different racial and ethnic groups that have existed for centuries in the local community. Malays, Malaysian Chinese, Malaysian Indians, Baba Nyonya, Christian, Chiti, and Eurasian are important ethnic groups living in the state of Malacca to the present day. The Malacca flag is the flag of the Malaysian state of Malacca, red, white, yellow, and blue, which are the elements of the flag of Malaysia, are also used in the flag of the Malacca to reflect that Malacca is a member state of Malaysia. The star and the Christian represent Islam, the official religion of the state and the nation. The left upper quarter has a royal blue image with a yellow Christian moon and a yellow five-pointed star. The top right corner half is red as well as the bottom half is white. Hi Diana, nice to see you again. How are you doing today? Great today, and I hope you are doing good too. Oh, I'm fit as a fiddle. By the way, is that the kebaya you are wearing? I heard that kebaya is the traditional outfit for Baba and Nyonya. Would you care to tell me the history behind it? Okay, fine. That is true. Well, kebaya is actually a traditional outfit that was previously worn by the aristocrats of the island of Java before 1600. It is believed to come from the Arab country which is known as Abaya in Arabic and was later spread to Malacca, Sumatra, Bali, Java and Sulawesi as a result of cultural assimilation over the past hundreds of years kebaya began to be accepted by the people in the area for kebaya nyonya it was created by the Peranakan community in Malacca the material used is kasa rubia and the blank woven fabric is made of fine twisted yarn making it sparse and lightweight it also has its own motif such as flowers and animals and uses bright color fabric. Kebaya Nyonya are matched with kain sarung, brooches and beaded shoes. According to history, Chinese from Peranakan community wear Kebaya Nyonya as their daily wear in the early of 1930s. Oh, I see. So now, I want to tell you about the Baju Melayu. Okay, so basically, the history of the Baju Melayu is that Sultan Muhammad Shah, the second Sultan of Malacca, wanted a formal royal wearing and at that time, the culture of Turkey and Arabs were strong here on Tanah Melayu. So from there, Baju Melayu was created based on both of the Islamic cultures. Okay, so first of all, I would like to emphasize the three pockets on the front. It resembles excellence, belief, and Islam itself. Next up is the Samping. Samping actually symbolizes the persistence of the wearer in keeping his aura. Also, fun fact, if a guy wears his Samping below knee level, it is a sign that the man has already married. But if the wearer is wearing the Samping above knee level, then he is single. So, why are we here wearing this traditional outfit? Well, today, fine, we are going to tell all the viewers out there the historical city of Malacca and its uniqueness. So, for the introduction, can you tell me a little bit about the history of Malacca? So, Malacca is founded by Parameswara and Malacca is named after the tree he leaned on when he and his followers were running away to find protection after fought a war with Majapahit. The war with Majapahit is to seize the throne of Majapahit kingdom at the end of the 14th century. He also witnessed his hunting dog was kicked by a white mouse deer and he was impressed by the incident and the courage of the mouse deer. 
Thus, he decided to open a state named Malacca. Turns out, Malacca is such a strategic place where it is located in the middle of the banks of the Straits of Malacca, which connects China to India and the East. Therefore, has made it a very suitable place as a trading center. That's right, Ifan. Malacca is a strategic state and has been the biggest trading center during its golden age. Because of its strategic location, the arrival of Arab traders as well as traders from the east and the west has made Malacca a busy airport port with hundreds of ships stopped by every year. Parameswara was then converted to Islam through a scholar from Jeddah in 1414, thus laid the foundation for the development of the state of Malacca as the leading center of trade and expansion of Islam in the region. Okay, so now that we know the history, let's move on to the architectural culture of Malacca heritage. Malacca Sultanate Palace Museum is a wooden replica of Sultan Mansur Shah 15th century palace who ruled Malacca from 1456 to 1477. The original building was destroyed by lightning. The palace was constructed in 1985 based on accounts and writings of the ancient sejarah Melayu. The building serves to preserve the architectural style of Malacca Sultanate Palace as well as the historical heritage of the Malay race. The palace was built entirely without nails and supported with carved wooden pillars. The palace is made from wood where the roof is made of kayu being imported from Sarawak. While the highly polished floors are crafted from kayu resa. Many handcrafts wooden decorations are also found in the building giving a royal look as well as providing a Malay and Islamic influence to the building. The intricate floral and botanical motifs are carved into the wooden walls indicative of the traditional Malay art of wood carving. This is Baba and Nuna Heritage Museum. The museum is a collection of three beautifully restored houses arranged to look like a typical 19th century Baba Nyonya residence. This museum was established in 1896. It was used as a family home before being converted into a museum. This house consists of a reception hall and a kitchen. This museum has a set of stairs made of solid channel wood. Also, has an open courtyard inside the house, which is common in most Baba Nyonya homes. Kamching is a Hokkien word meaning covered jar. Kamching comes in several different sizes. A kamching could be used as a container for water, pickles. and other types of food. The larger was used for pickling vegetables. The colorful kamching is only used during special occasions such as birthdays or weddings. On usual days, they will only use blue and white kamching. Bagusia is a traditional Malay and Nyonya basket. It is normally made of patterns, bamboo, or wood and wrap with thick paper or leather and the basket will be colored with red and black Bakusia was painted with gold motifs to symbolize prosperity and richness People usually use this basket for various purposes or events such as wedding or feast to keep fruits cakes dodol or traditional malacca snake A famosa, or the famous in Portuguese, is one of the oldest surviving remnants of European architecture in Asia. Once part of a mighty fortress, this tiny gate called the Porta de Santiago is all that history has spared. In 1511, a Portuguese fleet arrived under the command of Alfonso de Albuquerque. His first attack. and successfully defeat the armies of the native sultanate. 
the fort changed hands in 1641 when the Dutch successfully drove the Portuguese out of Malacca. The Dutch renovated the gate in 1670, which explains the logo Anno 1670. Inscribed on the gate arch, the fortress changed hands again in the early 19th century when the Dutch handed it over to the British to prevent Malacca from falling into the hands of Napoleon's expansionist France. The English were determined to make the city as useless to the Dutch as possible because knowing they have to return the fort to Dutch at the end of wars, they planned to relocate the population and demolish the fort. This nearly happened but Sir Stranford Raffles, the founder of Singapore, persuaded the English to let the residents remain and also prevent the total obliteration of the fort by convincing the English to let one kid remain for history's sake. It is quite possible that in doing this, Raffles spread the remaining historical monuments of Malacca as well. The stadium was built between 1641 and 1660 on the ruins of a fort which belongs to the Portuguese. It is believed that the stadium is the oldest Dutch building in the east. This massive red building displays all the common features of the Dutch colonial architecture, which includes substantial solid doors and levered windows. Since its completion to 1980, the stadium was used as the administrative centre of successive governments for a period of 300 years. It was in 1982 when the stadium was converted into a history museum which exhibited Malacca's history starting from the Great Malay Sultanate and Portuguese, Dutch and British colonization till the present day. The multiracial population of Malacca consists mainly of Chinese, Indians and Malays. The Portuguese and Peranakan culture which is still practiced by a few descendant communities. Peranakans or Baba Nyonya are believed to be descendants as a result of intermarriage between Chinese and Malay. The male Peranakans are referred to as Babas whereas the females are referred to as Nyonya. The language spoken by the Peranakans is known as Baba Malay which consists of a few elements of Hokkien language. Descendants of Portuguese colonies from 16th and 17th century are present till this day in Malacca. Portuguese Creole is generally the language spoken by them and most of the traditions which originated from Portuguese occupation are being practiced still today. During a formal Chinese wedding proposal, the groom's family will present different gifts to announce the engagement, which is usually food and cakes. Both families send double happiness cakes to their relatives and friends, along with invitations. The bride's family provides a dowry list and the groom's family perform a setting bridal bed ritual. Indian weddings are traditionally multi-day affairs and involve many intricate ceremonies such as the painting of the hands and feet of the bride called a mandi. Garlands are presented to guests of honor instead of corsages and lots of flower or rose petals are thrown for good luck. Indian weddings traditionally last three days, all ceremonies considered. In this ceremony, the marrying couple exchanges prayers, flower garlands and gold rings. Traditionally, the groom's parents present the bride with a basket of gifts and misery, rock sugar, representative of sweetness in the future. Ceremonies may be held over several days in traditional Malay weddings. The marriage is solemnized during the Akad Nikah solemnization ceremony. The highlight of the wedding is the bersanding sitting in state ceremony, which is followed by a feast for family and friends. One of the most important holidays in Malacca is the Chinese New Year. It is also known as the Chinese Spring Festival. During the Chinese New Year, Malacca's Chinatown, or more commonly known as Jonker Street or Jonker Walk, 
bustles up with lots of activities, celebrations, bazaars, stalls, shopping from morning until late at night. It's especially happening towards the late evening to night time when the sun goes down and traders take over the street with their makeshift stalls. Before they celebrate, many families worship the god of wealth named Sai Shen or Chai Shen in the early morning by offering incense and invite the god into their homes. Firecrackers are again lit to welcome the god. Temples will be filled with believers who pay respect to the deity. Dumplings will be eaten on that day and people will burn the picture they welcomed on the New Year's Eve and see the deity off, wishing for a luckier and more prosperous year. In celebration of the Chinese lunar calendar's most important festival, Chinese New Year, numerous dishes from different origins are severed. Yi Sang is one such traditional dish. It is symbolic of good luck, prosperity, health, and all things auspicious. The Chinese New Year is often symbolized by large family gatherings and the Ang Pao. The Ang Pao is a red packet that contains money which is given by elders and married couples to the younger and unmarried persons. The main Chinese New Year activities include putting up decorations, eating reunion dinner with family on New Year's Eve, firecrackers and fireworks, and last but not least, giving red envelopes and other gifts. Malacca people have great joggers and they dance or music. By taking the Bayu dance movement, we will dance by Portuguese in Malacca. Traditionally, dance music is played by a small group of musicians. A violinist play a melody, two tapering play a rhythm and also a gong player. But now, many musician instruments have been added to make the performance more interesting. Joget dance start when the first male dancer invites female dancer. Modest joget began to develop after the 1930s we was performed in Vegas stage we inherited in the theme park in Singapore and Malaya. The objective of Chaka is to test the skill of the player to get as many pieces of the opponent has. When playing this game, two players compete to collect the largest number of the seeds in their storehouse by placing seven seeds in each house, setting for the last most house. The game ends when one player lost all the seeds of his house. The objective of playing Batu Seremban is to draw one of the stone while sweeping another stone on the floor and catching the one you throw either on. In Batu Seremban game, there are several levels of different ways of celebration. The game will start with a simple first stage and up to more difficult level or top level of 7 net. Cultural games are part of nation where that can be difficult to grow and develop not only for the children but to all communities, so it must be preserved. 